Hi, I'm Ariel. Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to Glenda, our 24 foot 1992 Safari Trek motorhome. We got Glenda about six months ago and have been doing some interior refreshes and upgrades in preparation for full-time RV living. Why don't you tell them a little bit about why we decided to go full-time adventure RV lifestyle living? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, so a couple years back, we actually moved into, we downsized into a 350 square foot condo. And so we did some research on how to live tiny. That's when we actually came across Bob Wells and him talking about the nomadic movement and people living on the road and traveling around. And, uh, you know, nowadays, like you can work rem uh, remotely on the road. So we were like, well, why, why are we living in a condo? Why are we like stuck into one city? So let's, let's do this now. So uh, we're ready to go here pretty soon, which is cool. Cheers. Woo. Well, welcome to Glenda, and let's show you a little bit about what she has to offer yeah. in all her glory. And welcome to Glenda. Hey, Willow. we have the living room and as you can see it's a lovely space we have our lovely cabinets here in the living room to hold all of our belongings um, we have this nice jackknife sofa um, you know this RV is from 1992 so perhaps the upholstery on the sofa was a little dated <laughs> so we did actually purchase this uh, cover for not too much money on Amazon. It's nice because you can remove it and wash it since we have a little uh, pup who's traveling with us as long as well as a cat. Um, so yeah, we have the jackknife sofa. It uh, turns into a bed um, if we'd like to have any guests over. Um, one of my favorite features of the living room is this chair. Um, it's the passenger chair when we're in driving mode, but when we're just hanging out, we swivel it around and it becomes a lovely chair to hang out, sit in and drink your coffee. Um, also, eventually it will be my office chair. Um, we're gonna somehow figure out how to put um, a little desk here so I can just hang out and do, apparently I do a lot of typing, um, but that's not actually true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more drawing or designing, but um, yeah. So this eventually will be uh, my office chair. Um, as you can see, this has a lovely gray cover. Um, we found a woman who was, she was pretty amazing. She actually made these custom covers um, and they come on and off of the chair so that again, because we have the animals so we can wash them if we'd like. Uh, yes. And then other features of the living room, you'll notice um, our lovely laminate flooring. Uh, when we purchased Glenda, she had some, you know, it was a blue old carpet again not going to work with the animals <laughs> and we're kind of dirty we like to hike a lot and spend a lot of time outside so um, we actually pulled up the carpet and put down these laminate floors um, and eventually we're going to do a before and after video so you can kind of see what Glenda looked like before and what she looks like now in all her glory so that's pretty much what we got going on in the living room and next up we have the kitchen Ta -da! <clears throat> so the kitchen we have our nice little small dinette um, I really one thing I really liked about Glenda is that these chairs it's not like a booth style dinette it's just got little chairs um, these are actually folding chairs and we can fold them up and put them away if we want um, we did recover the seats of those um, and then we have our decent sized kitchen for a 24 foot RV um, we painted the cabinets. They were the same wood color as the um, the rest of the RV, which it's beautiful wood, but you know, it was a lot of wood for a small space. So we, we painted the cabinets um, and we put uh, this uh, peel and stick faux tile backsplash over the 1992 wallpaper. <laughs> and I think it looks pretty good. Um, other things we did throughout the RV, um, we actually painted the walls. All of the walls had 1992 wallpaper on them. 
Um, these bumpers uh, used to be kind of blue, faux, cheetah, fuzzy. Um, we actually painted those. Um, we're still kind of in progress with a, a few of the finishing touches here and there. Um, we got all new uh, blinds because we had the 1992 metal mini blinds, which made a lot of noise and um, weren't the coolest. So we got nice new blinds and yeah. Other than that, in the kitchen, we have our little cooktop. It's a propane cooktop. And the modern convenience of our refrigerator and freezer combo. And I think that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Next up, we have the bathroom. And next up, we have the bathroom. Come on in. <laughs> so the key feature of our bathroom, we have a couple key features, but one is the shower. Home to Bowie the Cat's litter box. And the super cool glitter golden shower curtain Extravaganza. Door. Extravaganza. Um, also, we have our composting toilet. Um, we installed the composting toilet a few weeks ago, so it will help us conserve water on our travels since we only have a 50 gallon water tank and you can use water really fast unless you're being really careful. So that will really help us out there. Um, other than that, we have some cabinets and of course, a bathroom sink and vanity. Ta -da! Hello. Um, we installed the composting toilet, but um, beyond that, we didn't really do a lot to the bathroom. We have the beautiful original wallpaper up in here. And yeah, and we got our uh, closets as well. And that is it for the bathroom. And next up we have the bedroom and the electro magic bed. So the bed's actually, uh, this is one of the main reasons we decided to buy this RV. Um, because it's a 24 foot RV, there isn't a lot of living space in it. Um, so if you put a full bed in a 24 foot RV, you lose a lot of space. Um, so the cool thing about this bed is that it hangs out on the ceiling during the day. And then when you're ready to take a little snooze at night, you just magically lower it. And we're gonna show you how that happens right now all right and you might hear the kitten purr hum <laughs> of our propane generator um, because we're not currently hooked into shore power and we don't have our solar panels um, installed yet we actually do have to use the generator to lower the bed um, so we turn the generator on and now the magic all right and there you have it the press of a button and it's nighty night time. Hey everybody. So you were just inside taking a look at the interior and want to just show off a, a couple uh, things about the outside. So um, one of our favorite things, and a lot of you probably haven't been spending a lot of time in RV lots and taking a look at RVs and things, but um, most of them, just have decals on them and they're not fully painted. So we were really, really excited that Glenda is fully painted um, and she's in really good shape. So um, uh, just really, really excited about that. Um, just some of the um, key features of our Safari Trek Pathmaker Edition. Isn't that fun? Um, so we have a 30 gallon propane tank in here, which is great because it powers everything from the stove to the furnace to the water heater. Um, and also it will run the refrigerator. So really um, important that we have that. And that's a really big tank. So it's awesome. Um, and then, oh, in this one, we have the generator. So our generator right now because, and I'll tell you about um, the solar panels that we're gonna put on the roof and the electrical upgrades we wanna make. But right now, our generator, if we're not like plugged into um, to power like in an RV park, the only way to raise and lower the bed right now is the generator. Um, and, it's, and so that's really important. So that's in there. And then, um, well, I guess another thing to point out, so 
we're going to move all of our batteries and this is we're actually going to put our batteries back here action your hat looks yeah. really funny i've had to do some fun things with my hat because <laughs> it's pretty sunny out here which is really really nice but um <laughs> one thing that's really really cool is we're going to be able to tow our jeep back behind the rv which is awesome because when we're parked somewhere then if we need to go into town we want to just explore or check things out we have got our jeep with us so that's really really cool um and uh so here's the ladder that takes us to the roof i'm not even going to go into how much time i've spent on the roof in the last six months um but i'm really excited about what's about to happen up there and that is that we are going to put in four 210 watt solar panels to give us collectively 840 watts of solar, which will power the batteries that I just told you we're gonna go back into this battery bank so that we are not dependent on our generator. All right, and that's about it for Glenda. Um, so we are actually moving into Glenda um, for reels in the next couple of weeks and leaving the Seattle area for full-time travel. Um, our first stop will be Utah. Um, we're going to Continuous Resources where we purchased our solar equipment. Um, we're going to use their facilities and some technician assistance um, to install the solar panels and all of the components to make sure we don't burn Glenda down. And yeah. So thanks for watching and stay tuned because we're going to do another video to show the like before and after and the work we've done on the RV and another video about the solar. So we'll see you down the road. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.